Najee Harris seems to be the next Derrick Henry. He wears 22, goes to Bama, and is dominating college football. Without any further ado, here's the story of Najee Harris. 32-yard gain, Najee Harris, touchdown Alabama! Najee Harris was worn on, <laughs> on March 9th, 1998 in Martinez, California. Najee had it rough going up. I moved from a lot of places to a lot of places. Um, Not in a good area. In fact, the only trip that he can remember was when he went paintballing in 7th grade, 30 minutes away from his hometown in the Bay Area. Many times, Najee was not able to stay at one home at a time. Najee talked about how one time he lived with his dad, sister, and two brothers in a small place named The Soup Kitchen in Richmond, California. He talked about how the food was downstairs and there was ants crawling all over the food and a ton of homeless people. We stayed there for almost like a year, probably, but I stayed in a ton of shelters before. When that didn't work, we stayed at a family member's house. We stayed in a car. He finished that by saying, staying in a house is the best thing. They stayed at place after place and could never find the right fit. During this time, Najee was a little bit of a jerk and had anger problems. One time when he was a kid in Seattle, Najee hit a kid with a pool stick several times after the kid made fun of him. Even during this time, when his family was struggling, he would stay with his mother no matter the situation. And if she was sleeping in a car, he would be with her. As Najee grew up, he matured and now looks at his old self in disgust. During that time when Najee had anger issues, the home atmosphere was not the greatest without his mother. I seen shootings, I seen a lot of gang fights, drugs. And so she kept him busy playing football. Najee dominated as a freshman, and during one JV game, he was sitting on the bench while the team was up 28 to nothing. This was after he had already dominated the game, and his coach had said that he had scored enough. Surprisingly enough, the head coach of the school was there, and Najee was able to go on to the varsity team. Najee remembered a game later that season when his school, Antioch High School, played against Freedom High that had some player named Joe Mixon. Openings inside the 15, the 10, the 5, inside the pylon, touchdown Cincinnati! During this time, Najee was mostly a defensive player and even held Mixon to a season low 59 yards. Upon that, on the other side of the ball, Najee was able to run for 92 yards and had his first varsity touchdown. After the game, Mixon and Najee met in the middle of the field and Mixon told Najee that you're going to be a great player. It seems like Mixon was right about that. <laughs> that season, Najee ran for around 150 yards and a touchdown. As you can tell, he didn't get to play too much. But the next season, Najee was able to run free and ran for over 2,200 yards and 23 touchdowns. This garnered a lot of attention from schools all across the country, and following his sophomore season, he had a scholarship offer from nearly every major school in the country. The next few seasons, Najee went off, and during his junior season, he ran for over 2,700 yards and 36 touchdowns, and then went on to replicate that success his senior year as he ran for over 2,700 yards and 34 touchdowns. Throughout this time, Najee got offer after offer after offer, and eventually was the number one recruit of his class in 2017. He was even compared to Adrian Peterson by many experts. As you can guess, Najee was a 5 star and had offers from some of the top schools like Alabama, Ohio State, Michigan, USC, and Notre Dame, but found a home in Alabama where he had already committed to in 2015 after him and Saban developed a good relationship. As a freshman at Bama, Najee wasn't able to get much action as he was behind great players in Josh Jacobs and Damian Harris, but was still able to finish the season with over 350 yards on just over 6 yards per carry along with 3 rushing touchdowns. The next year as a sophomore, Najee was able to gain a much greater workload and ran for over 750 yards and four rushing touchdowns. But, but Najee was able to break free and show out his junior season where he was able to start with Damian Harris and Josh Jacobs leaving for the NFL draft. That season, Najee ran for over 1,200 yards and 13 touchdowns. Following this season, there was speculation as to whether or not Najee would stay or declare for the draft, but Najee silenced the talk as he declared that he would stay his senior year, and so far that has looked like a very good decision. Well, this crowds the line, and Najee Harris runs right by them again. Najee has been destroying college football this year, and in six games, he's ran for over 700 yards and 14 touchdowns as Alabama has rolled over teams like Georgia and Texas a and Najee's stats are even more impressive this season as Alabama has been throwing the ball like crazy, with Mac Jones throwing for over 2,100 yards and 16 touchdowns. Najee has been playing so well that he is even in the Heisman conversation as arguably the best running back in all of college football. Najee Harris has gone from being homeless to becoming one of the best players in all of college football, and he has only just begun. Day to throw, crossing route, Najee Harris inside the 30, broke a tackle, a hurdle, and the sideline, and a touchdown! Thanks for watching the video, subscribe and like for more videos like this, and comment down below what you think of Najee, and I'll see you guys in a few days. Peace out.